number nine in our back to school series for the BTS vlog. Yeah, I'm here at my office at uh, Marself at this, the uh, uh, Village of Prophet Elias. Things have been going well. I missed yesterday, so that's why it's uh, no vlog for Saturday, but there is a vlog for Sunday. And uh, things have been going pretty well. Uh, I was going to vlog last night, but I couldn't figure out how to vlog in my tent uh, at night uh, because there was no lights there. Uh, there are a number of, no, no, number of uh, unusual sounds, so, uh, but you can only hear things. You can't see things at night, when, uh, uh, particularly when you're filming. And I mean, you can see something with your eyes, but the camera just doesn't pick it up, so it's not sensitive enough. And putting lights on to see things is not uh, really worth it, so in terms of uh, seeing what's around. Uh, so that was uh, how Saturday ended in the, in the, in the tent. Um, I'm still working on reorganizing the office for, uh, for the new school year, so the mobile office here is still being reformed. I've been able to do a lot more video production uh, in this office. Uh, you'll see that from uh, the coming back for Cyborgs and Cybernetics. That, that episode, that comeback episode, is gonna, was shot here on the same location. Same thing with Ubuntu BSD Unix Natal. And the video pilot for uh, the kitchen diner has also been shot here uh, in, this, in the same location. So, you know, as far as the video production has gone, it's gone great. Uh, I've now set up and, and I'm working on the uh, music uh, uh, on my Android. So that's been set up and now working. So, and then the next part that I got into that I was able to sort of get through is... Um, Looking at the underlying Unix, the underlying Linux, Linux structure of Android, to compare it to see how it compares to Ubuntu in terms of what it's missing, what it's not missing, you know, things like that. In other, in other words, doing a point-by-point -point comparison uh, between the two operating systems, and it seems to be that, that uh, Android is missing a fair chunk of the Linux base. The question is whether or not I can sort of bring a lot of this Linux base in. I think the, the first thing to do is to sort of bring in a, a very basic IDE a, a, that will begin with a bash system. Uh, for that, for those of you who don't know, that's the born again shell inside of Linux. That's your fundamental terminal. It looks like your, it looks like, looks like your C prompt in uh, uh, Windows, uh, should I say in DOS. Uh, for those of you who know what a DOS prompt is in Windows. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going with things. But this is all experimental. Anyways, that's it for today. See ya. Bye-bye.